what we're doing is putting an insurance policy on the dam here. Uh, we've got a spillway, an old spillway on that side, which uh, doesn't leave us much what they call freeboard. So we want about a metre on the from the high water mark to the top of the dam wall. So what we're doing here is we're raising it, raising the level up and putting a, a level line across. Um, we've pulled the material out of here because we need more material. Uh, then we'll be actually excavating through this section. Uh, there are some pegs uh, marked out going that way, so they're dead on contour. So when the water comes up, it'll go out onto these peg marks. We'll go around the ridge and around the valley and we keep going. But what it'll hit when uh, it hits about that tree, and we want a nice sort of uh, either a valley or a ridge point to exit the water on is what's called a level seal spillway. So the water actually sheet over it as opposed to doing that, which classically mm. most Australian dams are. Um, and then they actually start cutting and incising. So if we can put it on a level seal, so uh, the water exits passively. It also, uh, because it's dispersed, it dissipates all the energy, which is really what we want to do with it. Um, and it can drop a lot of its silt load in the swale, etc. Um, so that's really what we're doing here. Um, we only started this morning. We will put another pipe in there just for aesthetic, so there's a bit of water that comes down the, the little, the old uh, uh, waterfall. Um, but really, as I say, we're we're putting in an insurance policy for the dam. Yeah. Well, it's worth it, isn't it, when you've got so much water? Well, it is, it is, and you know, if, if anything happened here, if, it, if the wall, water goes over the wall, starts eroding, once that starts happening, this whole dam could go, take the next dam, and then also take the next dam. Yeah. So it's really, it is absolutely an insurance policy. Um, and we're, we're taking that flash flooding events, the, the extremeness of the flash flooding events yeah. away by being able for the water to fill up, it's still got that meter from uh, where it spills over to the top of the wall, and uh, it'll have probably about two or three megalitres that it can actually flow up this swale as well. Yeah. So that just takes any big surge, any big rainfall events, and pacifies it. And it puts it into a safer area where if it's not going to do the if that, it did, not going to do the damage. The, absolutely, safer area, and then we've got other functions that will plant trees on the Swale Mound. Um, the trees are naturally going to get irrigated, they could be productive trees, they could be uh, forest uh, yeah. for stock, uh, fruit trees, nut trees, etc., yeah. timber trees. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Fantastic. So, yeah, multiple functions, as well as this terrace here, you know, we've excavated the material out here, but we can also create quite a moraca climate here because we're north facing, we've got the thermal mass of the water, we've got a reflective quality much like a mirror coming off the water as well. So here you'd probably find you'd be about five degrees, degrees warmer um, in the winter. Fantastic. So we're just Huge difference, diversifying landscapes a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, David, can you let, me, let us know what, you'd, what what's the significance of this work here is? Okay. Uh, so we've done this uh, yesterday afternoon, actually. Um, or we repaired the old spillway, which was actually running down the gully down in there, um, and putting again putting the dam at risk. Um, so we've we've linked in uh, a swale, um, which when so it'll hold 300 millimetres of water um, and it'll go all the way back past Helen all the way around to the ridge point. So the really important part of this whole system is what we call this level seal spillway. Um, so we can see our little pink marks um, and we've excavated it so it's level that way. It's also level that way for about a metre. So that water will sheet over this six metres long, um, it'll sheet over here and then enter the down the gully. Um, but before that, 
if we get a huge rain event, water will come down the valley. It'll have to fill up this swale, which runs all the way, probably 150 metres that way, cross the little ramp here through a pipe, um, and then slowly rise and then sheet over, uh, as opposed to it running straight down the old, old gully down here, which we haven't quite finished our work there yet. We've just got to pull a bit more material in the back. Um, but again, it's, it's that insurance policy. Uh, the other one is our freeboard height on the dam wall um, is, is higher than our freeboard height on our swale mound. So, <clears throat> worst case scenario, water will actually go over, break the swale mound, and then go over, which is quite easy to fix. Um, so again, that's, a, that's another layer of our insurance policy, you could say. Yeah. Um, it's simple, but it's obviously going to be extremely effective. Extremely effective, yeah. Mm. And then, then the other one is, is <coughs> all this water that's running down this whole hillscape here, now, that would end up down there. We've actually caught it, and we can bring water into this dam. So it's mm. harvesting water for us. Uh, as well as you know passively um, mitigating flash flooding um, you know high volumes of water hitting that dam with our level seal so there's multiple benefits going on here we will also you know we'll plant out with trees so we'll have a sheltering effect um, as i say they could be fodder they could be nuts fruit etc yeah um, on steeper landscapes there can be a, a, an access point, you can make your swales a little bit bigger and use them for access in, in drier times. Yeah. The multiple benefits coming on. It's amazing that, um, that as you just pointed out in the summary form that it has dual purposes of uh, filling the dam from a bigger catchment area mm -hmm. as well as uh, dispersing or putting the, leaving the water in the landscape. Yep. So eventually what we'll do is we'll actually run another swale around that ridge point. So on the other side of the valley, we'll run a swale around that ridge point um, and put another spillway over there. And this will become our secondary spillway. So it'll be 50 mil uh, higher than that one. So we'll favour water going back into the original water course, which is good for authorities. Um, and this will be just another insurance policy, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it gives us access, um, yeah, hydrates landscape, windbreak, you know, screen, privatising, mm. a whole host of benefits, really, yeah. And what's also been found um, is that the creeks keep flowing during the summer Ab months rather than drying out. Absolutely. Yeah. What, what will happen here is when these swales are full, you'll get a pluming effect moving through the landscape in the subsoils. And you will see this if you come back uh, in a year or so and it's in the dry, we'll have a green band below the swale mound here. But also if you go down further in the landscape, down in topography, water will be moving through the subsoils. And then sometimes it'll hit an impermeable uh, surface either a clay seam or, or a rock and actually spring out and create new springs. Not mm. potable water springs, but springing in the country mm. Uh, mm. will certainly happen. Yeah. Again, what we've had to do, because that dam wall had blown out, um, so and it was full of water, so what we have had to do is excavate another site, uh, like a burrow pit you could call it. Um, we've, we've taken off the topsoil, uh, one of the major things when you're doing earthworks is take off your topsoil. Um, take off the topsoil, we've taken out the clay. Uh, we brought a truck in to actually dump it down there and as well as the one up there. Um, <clears throat> but again, it has that multiple functions, you know, it's reasonably north facing. Um, it'll be a bit of a windbreak, um, but we'll also build a machinery shed and probably a hard and up area for the nursery, etc. Probably compost section. Um, so we're just trying to join the two areas together really um, and then when we pegged out the swale uh, that's connected to the dam all the way up past the old caravan there um, and we've got another spillway uh, past the caravan again um, so we've just turned the swale up here so we've stopped it for the moment but what we're going to do is now the pipes are here we'll 
put another pipe across the swale um, and we'll continue on around uh, to them pegs. You can see they just keep following around. Hopefully Helen can pick them up. Uh, little yellow markers. You can sort of see that contour um, that heads off around the countryside, um, around that ridge. Um, and then we'll turn it up again. So we've caught all this water that's running down the ridge and we've basically caught it. We're allowing it to sink into the, uh, to the subsoils. Um, the other really interesting thing swales do is actually uh, allow water to stop. Now when water stops moving, it drops all its silt load, drops all the organic matter, all the debris, all the you know, detritus. Like, so that is in a sense is your fertilizer that we've harvested. Now 300 ml of water again will sit into this swale before it sheets over back into the original gully into this one on again and we can replicate that right up through the, the country basically yeah that's a pattern and it sort of helps shape the landscape for us particularly this one uh, really has contained a, a section for these guys to work to um, as well as adding as a windbreak because you get quite strong winds here um, so once we get this swale it finished off and planted up um, and we'll choose certain spe tree species, um, probably a lot of evergreens, dark green evergreens, which will help, uh, you know, screen the winter, the winter wind out. Uh, also a bit of a, a um, produce a bit of heat because of the dark green, um, etc. So there's m many benefits from doing smart earthworks. Uh, well, here we are. So this is at the dam. So what you're looking at is the old spillway which exited just out there and went into a seriously eroding gully um, with a big head cut, um, walking its way back up to the dam. So we terminated that. Uh, <coughs> if we come around across the dam wall and we've opened up this side. And as you can see, down the swale there, um, we've got our emergency spillway beyond that, crossing pipe, and then primary spillway. So that's it. This is where I opened the dam up. Uh, so the swale holds 300 millimetres of water. Um, yeah, a back flood swale, beautiful.